Hey guys, this is Genuine Polish, and in this video we are going to be talking about the ISO resin tree, otherwise known as Experiment 52B. What is it, where does it come from, and why was its name on that flight log? Uh, that's probably going to get me demonetized. So while you're exploring your planetary cluster, you might stumble upon a marshy asteroid. And in my opinion, this is one of the best asteroids in the game. Not only does it contain the resin tree which is necessary for ISO resin, and therefore insulation and visco gel, but also it's guaranteed to spawn a tungsten volcano, and has a chance to spawn too. So basically, once you get your hands on a little bit of niobium, you're set with thermium for the rest of the game. Thermium is not necessary for any kind of builds, there's workarounds for pretty much everything that you normally use thermium for, but it sure makes things a hell of a lot easier. Experiment 52B. We know where it is, but what it is is a little deceptive. It looks like a tree at first glance, and uh, well, I guess as much as you want to look at it, it's going to continue to look like a tree. But if you read the description, it says it's more akin to a land coral, and it says it has some semblance of sentience, probably due to all the cybernetic enhancements it has. The thing is though, whether or not it's hostile by nature, or if it's just seeking revenge for whoever plugged it full of wires and experimented on it, it will attack your duplicates. So while you're building any kind of system around this, make sure to try to keep your duplicates as far away from it as possible. Now, that being said, in order to produce resin from this tree, you need to feed this thing. It produces 5 kilograms of liquid resin per 1,000 calories consumed, which is not an insignificant amount of food. So before you want to get a steady supply of resin going, you want to make sure that you have an adequate food supply. You can achieve this by pit flower pot planting or doing automatic critter ranching. So make sure you have a good supply of food before you start feeding this thing. So for shorthand, what you need to do to produce iso resin is you need to find this tree, feed it a little bit, and then heat that resin to 250 degrees Fahrenheit to separate the iso resin and water. And this way, 25% of the mass of the resin will become iso resin, and the other 75% will become hot steam. So you could do all this manually and as you have a need for iso resin. A better option if you have a huge surplus of food and you want to make a lot of iso resin. So what you could do is you could connect this to a volcano tamer that's already existing or build your own steam generator aqua tuner setup. So that way you can instantly convert any resin you get into iso resin and very quickly sweep that away to your molecular forge. So if you want to automate this system, what you're going to need is a lot of steel to build all the components inside of the steam generator room is create an aqua tuner cooling system with a simple bypass and set up your steam generator like you would for any kind of tamer or any kind of cooling system. So you want to have mesh tiles directly below the tree and then pumps to pump that resin into the chamber. You want to make sure that the temperature of the chamber is high enough to where it instantly turns the resin into iso resin. Then you can have a steel auto sweeper sweep it up and then transport it out of the room to your molecular forge. Now you could just have an auto sweeper just pick it up as soon as it turns into iso resin but I would recommend using a weight plate so that way you can set a limit to where the auto sweeper turns on and you're not waiting seeing excess electricity. I have the weight plate set to 10 kilograms and then it has a seven second buffer gate. So that way the auto sweeper will turn on for a little bit and it should have enough time to sweep up all of that iso resin. And if it doesn't, go ahead and increase your buffer gate time so that way it has a chance to sweep up everything. Another thing is, is you might want to control the temperature a little bit so your steam generator is running optimally and the resin is instantly converting into iso resin. I'd recommend going anywhere between 300 degrees Fahrenheit and 500. It really just depends on what your cooling capacity is because if you just have a bunch of water that can't actually make it through the aqua tuner because it's too cold and it goes through the bypass loop, then you're not going to be running your aqua tuner and everything's going to cool down really fast. If you're not going to be feeding this thing constantly, then it's not going to be constantly producing resin, which means it's going to cool your steam generator room a lot less. You may want to include some cooling ducts for the steam generator depending on what the material of your rooms are made out of and what the operating temperature of your steam actually is. Now, an important thing to note is you're going to constantly be increasing the pressure, which is going to make it harder for the aqua tuner to heat up the room. You quarter incorporate two aqua tuners, but that's quite a significant amount of electricity. So what you're going to want to do is eventually you're going to want to drain a little bit of water from the steam generator output. You can do this by a valve or you can do this by a timer setting. It really just depends on what works for you and what your output of resin is. I would recommend maybe just doing a liquid shutoff valve that's connected to a pressure sensor in the steam room. And maybe once it gets above 150 kilograms, you can have the steam generator output that water. This isn't a self-sustaining system, I just have a battery and transformer hooked up, but go ahead and just connect the steam generator into your normal power grid. You're probably going to be using a little bit of excess electricity for the aqua tuner. But if you already have a steam generator volcano tamer set up, go ahead and just drop off the resin into that room and then build an auto sweeper and a conveyor loader. A lot of people do build the steam generator aqua tuner cooling setup because it's a good way to get rid of heat. If you're already using a steam generator volcano tamer for the tungsten volcano that's located on that planet, then you can just have the resin be piped into that room. That way you can just have one single tamer on this planet that's both producing tungsten and iso resin at the same time, which would be really nice because it's going to make it a lot easier to ship that off planet. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked my content or found it useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Every little bit helps and I'll see you next time.